If you're working with a lot of data, then find and replace really comes in handy. Let's say I want to change everything with two into three. So I want to say I want to change the uh, product with two quantity into three quantities each. So I'm going to go into find and then I'm going to select replace. So over here, I'm going to work with a simple option first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find two and then replace it with three. So that will replace the two, both of the twos and change it to three. Okay. And then I'm going to press replace all. So once I do that, you can see that twos has been changed into three and the formulas change accordingly because this is actually calculated from the quantity itself. So you can see that if you have hundreds of data, then you can actually do this. Let's try something different. So now I want, uh, I can also find and replace formattings. Let's say for example, I want to change the yellows and I want to change it into something like green. So I'm going to go into more option and over here you can see that I can set the format right here. So there's format set. Okay, and I'm going to go into format and it's gonna be hard for me to choose the exact color from over here. So I'm going to say choose format from cell and select this one out right here. So that's the format. So I'm going to find, let's say I'm going to find uh, nothing at the moment uh, and then change it into something like a green color. So let's say I'm going to go over here, change it into green and press OK. So I'm going to say replace all. And you can see that every uh, every uh, yellow color has been replaced with green. So let me try something different. So now I'm going to choose the format from cell, select this as a sample, and I'm going to replace this with yellow itself. And I'm going to find every um, everything that uh, that says uh, let's say Friday inside of the green uh, mark area not outside and then replace it with yellow. So I'm going to say replace it with Friday yellow. So I'm going to uh, replace it all and you can see that both the Fridays has been marked just like that. Let's try again um, from to Sunday now. So I'm going to say Sunday just like that. Replace this with Sunday because I do not want to change the uh, content over here just the color. I'm going to go into format change it into this. So I'm going to replace all and you can see that only that has been highlighted. The Sunday here remains as it is. So I'm going to clear the formatting now, clear the formatting and then I'm going to go over here to the format from the cell. It is this. All right. So Sunday. So there are no colors in here. So it might affect other Sundays as well. So we need to keep that in mind because there are no formats. I'm going to choose gray color right here. So replace all and you can see that Sunday has been highlighted with the ones uh, that, uh, that, that this formatting is there. So this Sunday remains unaffected as you can see right here. So you can also uh, get the sets to be uh, match sensitive. So capital small, you can do that. You can choose within the sheet or the entire workbook if you want. You can search by rows or columns. This is just um, into this is just um, the way the Excel sets the formats. And over here, you can also search within the formulas. So let's say, for example, if this is C4, then it'll actually set in the formulas as well. So it can, if you want um, to go um, it in deep, so you can do search in formulas as well. So let's say I want to highlight everything uh, that is. Sunday and that is green. So I'm going to go into here choose from the cell. So I'm going to say Sunday right here format choose from the cell Sunday right here and over here I'm going to go into format. So for that those Sundays I'm going to choose let's say a font a different font. I want it to be begin big font size something like 20 and then I can even underline it or something like that. So double underline those and then I do not want, I also want a border, let's say an outline border and a different fill color like yellow and maybe change something, uh, change the format as well. So you can do a lot as you can see. So now this is before and after. So if I were to replace all, now you can see that all the Sundays uh, within the gray text area has been highlighted 
and the chosen format has been applied. So you can see that find and replace can be used to find and replace text, but it can also be used to find and replace formattings just easily. So I hope you guys learned something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.